Oh, here we go. Oh, dang, that feels nice. What is up everyone? We are going to Steenhatchee once again. It is going to be a beautiful day of fishing. It's one of the first days this year that isn't blowing 20 mile an hour winds from the north. So I'm looking forward to just a nice relaxing day and hopefully some redfish on the end of our line. So let's go ahead and hop in the truck and get to Steenhatchee so we can get fishing. That is. Oh, I don't know what I got. I don't know if I have anything. Yeah, I got something. Probably a piece of grass. Oh, it's a flounder. <laughs> oh, yeah. anything okay there's fish chasing my lure got one Oh look, needlefish, woo! Oh. Yeah. All right guys, so far, not really much luck. We are just fishing in about three to four foot of water uh, and the grass flats just fishing potholes. I've got a small flounder and then I foul hooked a needlefish. So I'm just going to keep trying a little bit here and see if we can get anything. And then if not, might move in a little bit closer just to see if we can find some reds and bigger trout. And right now I'm just throwing the uh, good old Slam Shady, Slam Shady bomber on a jig head, just search baiting it. So let's get back to the action. I think I have a fish. I think I have a fish. Yep. Another flounder, I think. He's staying down. He does not want to come up. He definitely is going to be close. Let's see. How big do they got to be? they had to be maybe 12 but find out real quick 12 inches he's a good one alrighty guys well so far got one flounder that was quick release outside of the boat and then we just cut another 14 inch or so he's gonna come home with us you can see the slam shady bomber hanging right outside his mouth Oh, here we go. I don't know. It's a trout or a red? 
I think it's a trout. So, it's gonna be close. He is a keeper. All right guys, we made a quick change. Went into some shallower water at a spot that we've been to before. Just casting into potholes and was able to like a nice trout out so he's 16 inches so we're gonna bring him home to eat see if we can get some more that's a nice one Oh my. I'm trying. He's freaking heavy. Probably. I wonder if I foul hooked him. I said, I wonder if I foul hooked him. No, he's good. guys just got us a red fish finally alrighty boys like I said we got us a red he's freaking pretty he's right over slot at 20 well we know the redfish like this structure He's head shaking like crazy. He's smaller. guys we got us another one he's a little smaller but still a pretty fish nonetheless a little guy caught him on this the weedless Alabama leprechaun so we're gonna let him go and see if we can catch one more make one more cast this is a good spot yeah mark this pretty sure I did this is a good place to come to oh 
Oh. Well, Something had me. A little bit ago. Something had me. Oh, I'm still on. Oh. This might be a trout. Yeah, this is a freaking nice trout. Alright guys, we got a, another fish. We got us a nicer trout. I always try to wet my hands before handling him. He's a nice one. He's got an Alabama leprechaun right in his mouth. Feels nice. That's either a red or a bigger trout. Feels like it's head shaking like a trout. Oh no, it's a red. Nice. Alrighty guys, like I said, the Alabama Leprechaun is bringing me the gold today. Got another nice red. He's probably a little short, but still fun freaking fight on light tackle. We're gonna see if we can hook up a, a few more, and if so, we'll just call it a day after that. He's like right below. There we go. <laughs> I need to get you one of these. Yeah, what is it? It's just an Alabama leprechaun on the on the weighted hook. Another red on the Alabama Leprechaun. It's 
right below slot. Uh All right, three more casts. One. There we go. Oh, that's a... Whatever that is, is big. That might be a trout. That thing's, oh no, that's a red. He's staying down. Did not want to come up. Uh, I think I got it. We kept one and we've let go four now, I think. Got another one, guys. We are just in a really good spot and the Lord blessed us with a good day. I went out last week, explored a new area and didn't get one bite. Here we go with another, another red. On the Alabama leprechaun again. It's just doing really good today. So, get a measurement on him. He's like 18, but barely. So, he's another keeper, but I'm gonna let him go just because I like letting him go. It's all on the Alabama Leprechaun doing work. <laughs> Making little runs. This might be a little better runner. This. <laughs> oh, that's a little slimy. Probably 18. Yeah, he's like right at 18. Got another, barely legal. Beautiful fish. Gonna let him go. I know. Oh, he is a 
a fighter. Yeah. Oh, that one looks big. One, yeah, he is. He feels big. He's a nice one. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end it with with this fish just because we have caught a lot and it is time time to go. Alright guys, we are headed back to Steen Hatchie. It was a heck of a day and man it was just a blast. We caught a bunch of inshore fish. I actually caught my first ever inshore slam, which was a trout, a flounder, and a redfish, so pretty excited about that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to see more videos like this out of Steen Hatchie, make sure you subscribe. And then if you did like what you saw in this video, make sure you leave a like. It would really help me out. All of the gear that I use will be linked down in the description below. And until the next video, I hope you guys are able to get out and catch some fish.